All right, this is recorder video level two for intermediate players and right hand technique. So if you need to practice G, A, B, and C, go back to the other video and practice that music. Uh, but right now, let's take a look at the right hand. All right, so our left hand is always on top for lots of reasons, and our right hand is down below. We don't use our left pinky. Okay, save that for flute and clarinet and saxophone where you have to use that pinky for various keys. But we don't use that on recorder. We can use the right pinky at the very bottom. This would be low C if you cover every single hole. And the whole system makes sense on woodwinds, including the recorder. As you lift fingers up, the pitch goes up the scale. Okay, so here's C, D, E. This would be F, but it's very out of tune, so we don't play it that way. But G, A, B. And then things start to change a little bit with uh, C and high D. But, uh, but yeah, especially down here, just use your alphabet and your musical scale. All right, so... You want to make sure you can look through and see two rounded hands, two rounded thumbs, okay, sort of like binoculars, and relaxed and heavy fingers. So first we can practice going from E to D, low D, just to get that right hand moving together and back, did I say G? G to D and back and forth. Use your ear, okay? Make sure it sounds like that. Do, so, do, so, do. I had a couple uh, things I had to adjust as I was playing, so I'm sure you will too. Use your ear. Um, it's easier to hear those slight imperfections in your finger movements and leaks and timing if you slur it, which means don't tongue. But uh, you can remember, if it doesn't say otherwise, you should be tonguing your music every note with a ta at the beginning of every note. All right, well, let's focus on E, though, for now. So E, don't have to worry about these. Just G plus 2. G plus your peace sign fingers. Okay, and the main song for this is It's Raining, It's Pouring. There's others in the method book, like um, 26. It only has one E in it. fingers at the same time from G to B and you could hear it. Speaking of slurs, that one is slurred. But um, the main one to practice is our Greenbelt song, It's Raining, It's Pouring, which is both very, very simple and also pretty challenging at the same time. So you want to get comfortable reading those three notes. Okay, Try not to write in the letters, or if you do, just write in for part of the song and then not the rest of it, and then you can go back and erase it. But every note is either an E a G, or an A. This song only has three notes. If it's a space note, it's A. If it's the second line, it's G. And the bottom line, it's E. And almost every time, it is the E, A, G pattern. So you want to practice that many times to get it under your fingers. E, A, G. There is one time you go right from E to G. That's on the old man is snoring right there. Um, but let's play the first line here. Most of it is E, A, G. And there's a seven beat introduction because you have a pickup note on beat eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six.
don't go on to the second line until you can play that one. Second line especially, and he couldn't. It's eighth notes that have that leap in there. So make sure you can do the first line because the second line is all the same patterns, just faster. And people often make mistakes on the rhythm, but try singing the song a couple times or sing it on the letter name and then maybe say the letter names and do the fingerings or just read it on ta, ti, ti, and tu. All right, um, and he could didn't get up. That's the part where people make mistakes. Here's the second line. Went to bed. One, two, and... Okay? And you have the practice tracks you can practice with and all sorts of resources in the links here or my website. Uh, and the good practice videos on the YouTube channel. All right, so that really just takes practice, okay? Repetition, don't practice it fast, so fast that you're making mistakes. It's good to hear mistakes, but you don't want them to get locked into your muscle memory. Okay, you wanna do it properly over and over so that your fingers remember that pattern. Okay, every physical skill we learn is based on muscle memory. Okay, even something simple, throwing a ball, writing your name, you probably don't have to think about every single letter right now. Your fingers and muscles start to do it. And if you try to do it with the other hand, you'll notice it's not just knowing how to do it, it's having practice. You still have all the same knowledge of the letters, but if you try with your other hand, things, your muscles and your connections from your brain, they're not used to, to doing those movements. All right, so low D. I actually think... Old MacDonald, which is the Purple Belt song, is easier for a lot of people. So if you get really frustrated with it's raining, it's pouring, uh, which by the way, if you can do it, you can give yourself a green belt. I have the gray on here for wizard level. Uh, so G to D, we already did practice that, so you want to practice that more. That's old, old, old MacDonald. G, 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 D. And then you want to practice E to D. So you can practice just moving that lower ring finger. Something happened. My recorder's not sounding quite the same as it did a minute ago. There we go. Okay. So once you have that down, learn the first two measures. Once you can do that, you can, you're can. you most of the way there to the whole song. And then all the E-I-E-I-O's are all B-A-G. Nice and simple. got my fingers out of the way so you can see. Uh, keep yours close by. Also, never let that thumb, thumb move now that we're using the right hand. It's all you need to anchor so that your left hand is supported and doesn't have to support the weight. Okay, so all of Old McDonald just puts that all together. The first line, second line, and fourth line, they're all the same, just maybe with one extra pickup note before it. And then the third line, it's all G's, right? Here at what is it? Here a cluck, there a cluck. Here a chick, there a chick. Everywhere a chick, chick. Okay, so let's do the whole song. And think about the form of the song, how it's A, A, B, A, with lots of repeated sections. Even though it's a longer song, there's not that many parts to learn. Old MacDonald. One, two, ready.
right? Don't try to play it faster than that until you can. One more thing. A lot of times people have trouble with the low D coming out. Um, so sometimes it's leaks, but often it's actually the speed of the air and the direction of the air, or even uh, your mouth and throat, the shape of it can affect the resonating chamber, which is your instrument. It becomes a part of your instrument. So for these low notes, you want to get your tongue out of the way and think all, A-W-W, -W, all. That'll slow down the air and it'll open up so that you can get that low note out. If you blow too hard, you'll get a high D. And that's not how you want to be playing high D. Um, if you're blowing really slow and still getting a high D, make sure you don't have a leak on your thumb because that's a way to get high notes is just by leaking the thumb. We'll talk about that in our next video to play high E. So Old MacDonald, not so bad, not so bad. Um, now, the red belt isn't so bad either. It adds in F sharp. By the way, there are the practice songs for these in uh, my method book, the recorder's method book, and I think I skipped over a couple that I wanted to do uh, for E. There's some good ones there. In fact, I'm going to do one right now because I meant to demonstrate because I never get to do these ones in class. Um, but let's see. I'm going to do Reel Away, number 27. That's another one to practice E if the green belt is a little frustrating. It does have a dotted note in it. The dotted quarter note gets one and a half beats, followed by the single eighth note for half a beat. Here's number 27, reel away. One, two. That's faster than the practice track is. And I just did added the practice track for Chickahonka. mistake at the end. And that's much faster than you need to do it also. 29 is great. It's la mi, a big leap from E to B. Okay, to practice that. And then from there, it's mostly stepwise motion going down the five notes that you've learned up to that point. C, that nice minor half step is nice. Uh, La, Mi, they're the two first notes and the two most important notes in the minor mode along with Do. And a lament is a sad song, so it's also La, Mi there. I thought I was clever creating that title. Second line, no letters inside, but once you make that big leap, it's all just stepwise motion. So I think you're probably getting good enough at this point where you can start thinking about style a little bit more. So dynamics, this one probably softer, and articulation. So it's not just tonguing, right? This one doesn't have slurs written in, but you don't want it to sound short and energetic, probably not, because it's a sad song. You want to hold the notes out nice and long with a soft tongue do instead of two or da instead of top. Back to recorder karate though, the red belt, it adds in F sharp. Now this is only tricky because we lift up this finger here. So remember when I said this would be C, D, E, F, 
but F is very out of tune, so we actually play it like this. So we skip F for beginning recorder and intermediate, and we use F sharp and do songs that have F sharps instead of F naturals, which is great because G would become our home bass note for G major or E for E minor. They both have F sharps in there. Um, so you want to practice D to F sharp first and just lift up that pointer finger. And once you can do that, just practice going up your scale and down your scale. E to F sharp will want some more practice. It's like a seesaw. Okay, that middle finger stays down. You just rotate your weight of your hand. It's hard to do without getting an extra sound in there. And then F sharp to G. Make sure these two fingers move together. I feel like there's something in the, one of those holes or something. The F sharp sounds sharp and soft. Anyway, once you have those transitions and the scale going up and down, Take a look at the Red Belt, Twinkle Twinkle, another song that you know very well that has two sections, and then the third song, the third line is just that first section again. And even beyond that, the second section is just pieces of that scale. So the first leap is D to A, and every note you pl play for two beats, whether it's a half note or two quarter notes. So even if it's a quicker tempo, you don't have to change your fingers every beat. From that A, it's all stepwise motion. We step up for little, back down for star. Continue down the scale. So what's important is learning the pattern of the scale. why we practice scales and arpeggios and patterns, because that's what melodies are built out of. You shouldn't be expected to learn new patterns for every song when those patterns are used in every song, or variations of those scales are used in every song. All right, now the second section, up above the world so high, just starts on that A and goes down. Yeah, just down to the E, and do that twice. Now, if, you're, if you put that on mute and weren't listening to the notes, it would not look like I'm playing fast at all, right? Just every couple of seconds. And you can practice it even slower. And then you finish up the third line the way you started. I'll play the whole song here. Go a quicker tempo this time. So if you can't do it at the speed, pause it and play with the practice track or play slower until you can. Here's Twinkle Twinkle, the red bell. One, two, ready. Remember, once you're, uh, once you're getting this good, don't forget about your basics like your tone. Okay, it, just getting the notes correct isn't isn't enough to be musical to make beautiful music. So if you're thinking so hard about the fingerings that you let it sound not great.
and take a step back and listen to the sound. Alright, I think that's enough for right now for this video. Remember some other practice strategies beyond doing it slowly, saying the letter and doing the fingers, singing the song, isolating sections. And it's all about practice. The power is in your hands. Hope you're all doing well. Reach out to me. Ask me any questions that you have. Show me how you're doing on Flipgrid. Check out all the resources around. I know it's hard to find everything with all your many, many classes. But uh, any questions, quick email, I'll respond. Bye, everyone.